Hello. We are live. Just waiting on Tessa to join me. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Already 150 people. I will close it. <laughs> hello, hello. Tessa ist noch nicht da. Auf Tessa muss man immer warten. <lacht> Hi Donna. Hi everyone. Oh, it says she can't. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna invite Hello everyone. I'm still waiting on Tessa. Hello to Jamaica, hello to England. Tessa, where are you? Probably she's still eating because she's always eating. <laughs> Send her another request. Ah, oh, she says coming. <laughs> But yeah, come in. <laughs> It says, wait. Hmm. Still waiting. <laughs> yeah, it has, you done it last week actually with Feli, so you should. Yeah, maybe. I was just talking to her on the phone as well, so she's not sleeping or anything. Um, maybe she's eating her rice cakes. <laughs> All right. Um, I can just start talking and see if she decides to come because I'm still waiting. Is it like that Belgians are always late? <laughs> I was always thinking that about the French people that they're always late. <laughs> um, but we, in Germany we are always quite on time. So. My rehab is going fine. She will probably ask me that, but I can um, yeah, tell you now about what my knee uh, is doing right now. It's really good. It's seven weeks after the surgery. So um, yeah, I'm making good progress. I'm already on the bike, which is great. So I can yeah, get some energy off and uh, yeah, it's... Um, Going in the right direction, I know it's still uh, a lot of time to go because uh, it's a long recovery, but I'm positive that 
it will go the right way. And I was actually seeing the doctor last week and he said the knee looks perfect. So yeah, everything's fine. I'm going to try to invite her again now. I actually see that she's also asking the And only only says waiting. And yes, I accepted her. Hmm. It's actually the first time I'm doing Instagram live, so I'm not really good at it. Hmm. I actually can see can't see that uh, she sent an invite as well. Let's try again. Send another offer. Come on. In time that we're waiting, I can answer your questions if you have any questions. <laughs> you leave me hanging <laughs> to be clear that was not my fault i was what? on time <laughs> where were <are> you <laughs> i don't know it didn't work with my phone so i'm on matthew's phone now oh okay <laughs> yeah well if that works <laughs> now we can start yeah we can go ahead okay Hello, nice. everyone. Yeah, we have already a lot of followers and they were asking uh, questions already. But I said, we're waiting for you. <laughs> you, to you told them I was eating, right? Yeah. <laughs> I told them you were probably eating and eating your rice cakes or <laughs> whatever. I actually ate them this morning, so they're really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I couldn't be there myself last week when uh, Belgium played Germany. So I gave my friend Feli Rauch... Uh, uh, a little package so now you have some more snacks <laughs> yeah so mm. nice I put them in the yeah yes. here at my, in my house yeah nice and I was the camp tell us about the game uh, okay <laughs> what game against Germany yes um well we wanted to take a bit of like a revenge because we we lost 6-1 and it, it was not our best game against Holland so um, yeah we were determined to do better and I think we did because Germany is what second in the world mm -hmm. so um, yeah we knew it was a lot of defending and we run a lot um, I think organization was better uh, yeah. but then again I think we um, when we look ahead to the Euros uh, and we play really good opponents I think we need to work on um, when we have the ball uh, create something and keep the ball. I think that's our biggest, uh, our biggest yeah. area to improve. Yeah. Because I think when you have the ball, you need to learn rest, learn run less. So maybe, maybe <laughs> yeah, that's that will true. help. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Tell me yeah. about the game from you against Holland because I couldn't watch it. I was I was on training. Yesterday, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was interesting game, actually. Um, I think first half, Holland was better. But second half, Germany was really good. And we had a few chances. But in the end, we didn't score. So it was 2-1 to Holland, which is bad. Because we hate to lose. But of course, it was good learning progress. And I also think that we have a new team with like not a lot of young players coming in. And uh, yeah. It's always good to play games on a high level, and I think also the the game against Belgium was good to like learn and see where we can improve. And um, yeah. in possession, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the world, the the Euros are next year, so <laughs> we don't have uh, a lot of time. 
Right. Yeah, yeah. A year is a long time, though. Mm. It's yeah, good for us because imagine we had to play this summer, we had a lot less time. True. So, um, would you have a lot of friendly games next year? Um, like this year, I think we'll have Spain and maybe Norway, depending on the, on all the COVID rules. Mm -hmm. um, we also told the coach that we should have a game against an opponent that is our level as well because it's not good for our confidence. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it's that's the best learning games though. Mm. But you were like, I think you were all right in, in the game against us, and also like that one goal that was offside or was no wasn't offside. offside. <laughs> I don't think it was offside, but then it could be 1 1, so yeah. open game. Yeah. When I saw the pictures from your game against um, against Holland, the the stadium looked really old. There was like graffiti uh, <laughs> on the walls and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the pitch wasn't really good. So. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm really excited to play the, or I want to go play the Euros, but I think the grass there, or the, the the pitches are really nice in England, and that's gonna be that's gonna help the women's game. I True. Think. True. Yeah. But maybe I I remember when we played Bristol, <laughs> that pitch wasn't that good, but um yeah, the rest of the games or like the pitches were. We're yeah, fine. I think the opening game is in Old Trafford, and the final is in Wembley. <laughs> so yeah, if I, w I if I would have to choose one stadium to play, and I would prefer the Etihad. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, imagine we are coming home to Manchester. <laughs> that would be nice. No, <laughs> then I can visit my old apartment. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> it was funny to like move out of there during the the corona pandemics because then like you just you didn't know that you're not coming back you know <laughs> i know <laughs> maybe we should also mention that um, all the people watching can answer the questions and maybe in 10 minutes we can answer them yeah um, so yeah. yeah i think we first got got some questions for each other yeah you go ahead um yeah you had a really strong campaign actually the qualifiers were really good you uh only lost one game and you scored like nine goals <laughs> that's uh like really good and um what do you think for the euros what will be your chances and um what areas do you still want to improve or where do you think you can like say where mm, yeah we had a historic campaign um, I think we qualified for the second time for the Euros, ever. Oh. Um, and we made history by qualifying first. So it was really good for us. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, as I said, we need to improve in, when we have the ball in possession. Um, build up as well. Like yeah. um, playing out from the back under pressure, I think that's the thing um, that we learned in City. And um, that I think we can improve uh, as Belgian team. Yeah. Um, I think we're a tough team to play against because our organization and our mentality is good and are um, willing to run. Yeah. But again, as I said, if you have the ball, I think you need to run a bit less or like take the rhythm out a bit. And um, that's what we need to improve um, against really good opponents. So yeah. what do you think Germany should have to improve? Um, yeah, just I think also finding like a good organization because also now in the two games you could see that we changed our back four quite a lot. So just getting like automatism and like to um, yeah get more confidence in our playing system because we have quite a few players coming in and I think it's a good timing to do that change because now we have more than a year till the next um, tournament. So now you have actually time to. To take some players that don't have a lot of experience and like they can grow into the system. But yeah, I also think it would be good to have a few more games to um, get confidence and also, yeah, to play different systems. So yeah, we have like a lot of opportunities. I think it's weird that um, countries like Germany and stuff, they like go to the phases where new players come in and stuff. Um, whereas when I started playing with the national team, I think the average was 2021. 20, now I'm 10 years older and the average is still 2021 20, years old. So I think, I think we got the, 
we, we, we never had that period of like being experienced and that's what I miss and yeah. that's at your best I think. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of players, older players drop out soon or just drop out because of work and yeah, um, yeah, that's a bit loss of loss of quality we have. Yeah, so you always have had a young team. Yeah, always. <laughs> I'm one of the oldest now, can you imagine? <laughs> really? You're the grandma. Yeah. <laughs> grandma, no, no, not yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, when we play like old against young or like we're divided in three teams, then I'm with the oldest ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, you're the I captain thought... as well. <laughs> what? You're the captain as well. Yeah, it's true. You're a leader. <laughs> you think actually, or oh, yeah, you go ahead. You can ask a question. Okay, I'll go ahead. Um, yeah, actually, oh, I'm gonna close this door. How is your um, ACL injury going? Like, I, I already know it a bit. <laughs> because we yeah, contact, but... I can tell. Yeah, I was talking a bit uh, about that while I was waiting on you. But okay. um, I can tell everyone who's tuned in now that, um, yeah, it's going fine. Seven weeks post up now and um, I'm already on the bike and um, yeah, the new like the new ACL is really good. I have no swelling in my knee and I have uh, yeah, no problems, no pain or anything. It's just really long. <laughs> I see that now that even if the knee, knee is good, you have to be patient and you have to wait for the next step. But yeah, I think in about five weeks, I can hopefully start running and yeah. then it will go faster, I think. <laughs> yeah, but you're experienced in uh, having injuries and coming back and coming back stronger. So Yeah, that's true. I already had a big injury and um, it's, yeah, it's just, yeah. I didn't want to do it again, but I have to now. I have no choice, and yeah, I'm positive that it will will go go well. <laughs> yeah, you have to be really strong for that. Yeah, and you are. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> we'll see. Do you have a lot of injuries in your team now? Or in, uh, in the national team, we got, um, if I'm not mistaken, two bad injuries in ATL. And one that broke her uh, knee platter, or how do you call it? Oh. Uh, yeah, but it's actually good that we qualified, so now they have motivation to come back and mm -hmm. to join us in England. <laughs> so that's the good thing about it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, another question for you would be, um, because last year we, we both played in England, Mm -hmm. and we both played abroad for five years and now we're back in our home country <laughs> it's actually quite similar but do you feel like it's easier now to go to the national team because you your belgian teammates week in week out in the train you play with them and you have like better relationships to them yeah i think it definitely helps i think we're like eight or nine from the national team playing at uh, at Anderlecht at our club um it definitely helps us um, especially on the pitch, um, better connections. Uh, we know exactly um, how to communicate with each other and and and, and each other's qualities as well. Yeah. So I think it helps. It helps a lot. Yeah, um, it's really nice to be back home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't regret to uh, go back to your home country, or? Um, no, I, I don't regret it because it was the best choice. Like I felt, to, I felt I needed time with my family and my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I still got some years left, so you never know. If and I you also, go. you also do a lot um, on like girls camp and stuff. I I saw that that you're doing a lot to like push women's football in Belgium as well. No? Yeah, that's true because um, I don't think and everyone knows, but in Belgium you can be professional. So we train at eight in the evening every day. Um, because the girls work during the day and um, so I have time and then I on Wednesday and on Sunday I, I give a uh, girl power training camp that's cool. uh, to, young, to young girls so it's really nice yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like more projects outside of football yeah. Yeah. do you think you could be coach later oh good question I don't know I, I, I was always saying like 
I don't know if I could be coach because then you have to watch and you can't play yourself. Because <laughs> I was, I always want to play myself. But, <laughs> but there will be a, po a point in your life where you have to, you have yeah. to stop playing. I know one day I have to stop, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't know. I'm open for everything, but I think... Um, no, I don't. I don't think I'm going to be a coach, but why not for younger girls? Or like, I'm not going to do a second career as a coach because I also think that with football you always work on weekends, and mm -hmm. if you want to build a family or like have a life, basically you want your weekends free as well. So true. I don't know. Do you want to be coach now? Um, maybe like assistant coach to be closer to the girls and to like really focus on details because as a head coach I think you've got so much responsibility and so much to look after um, or like attack attack coach or midfield coach or however you call it um, maybe something like that I don't know yet we'll see well I hope we still have a few years to play before <laughs> we oh, have yeah. to decide that yeah maybe we should talk a bit about the upcoming euro well, yeah. up, upcoming in a year, Euro. In a year. <laughs> um, you were actually with Germany, one of the first teams that qualified. Um, where were you when Germany qualified? <laughs> and how did you feel? Um, I think I was at home. <laughs> because we qualified uh, not with the game ourselves. But yeah, it was great. Because uh, um, yeah you know that you have another tournament to play in and we actually won this tournament uh, a lot of times. I think we're record holder as well. So yeah, we, of course, we want to go and, and win it. Also because last time we didn't uh, in the Netherlands and now, of course, we, we want to build up until the tournament and try to, to win it this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's a good motivation as well, just because of the injury now that I know when I'm back fit and back playing, there's like something to work for as well. So yeah, it's a big goal. The motivation, huh? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can imagine. But you already won it with the under 17, is that right? Yeah, true. <laughs> like I think 2012, like long time ago, I we won the under 17 Euros and that was great. I have really good memories. I can imagine. Yeah. I only qualified once for the like end rally with under 19 for us. That was history. I don't think we won any game. <laughs> <laughs> we loved every minute. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was in, in Italy and we were just actually laying on the beach between games. And um, <laughs> I, uh, I still got bikini pictures of that. Uh, my parents yeah. were there. It's really nice. The youth teams were so nice. You were just like there playing for your country for the first time and then you yeah. just enjoy it. And yeah, it was so cool. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't know if I have any other question. Ah, yeah. What teams do you want to avoid in, uh, in group stage? Are there teams that are like, um, we call it, are your black animal, like teams that always are hard to play against? Um... Good question. I think I was looking yesterday at who are the teams that are that are qualified, and I think every team is so strong. Like there's no weak team. And I was like, okay, you have France, England. Like all these teams are have so so good like squads, and um, I think that's what's making it interesting. And I I think every game will be a hard game. Like they're not going to be yeah. also because it's the Euros and even smaller teams or like teams that are not qualified a lot like belgium like you guys you can also make it hard because it's a tournament and anything can happen you know so because we can run a lot yeah you can run and fight <laughs> <laughs> and you have you as a as a goal scorer <laughs> we'll see yeah <laughs> i'm also we'll excited see. to see um who will uh who will win the playoffs Oh yeah, so That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, maybe some surprises Sh should be cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we can also um, move over to fan questions if you want, or do you have any more questions? <laughs> um, no, 
I think I got everything I wanted to know. No, actually, I'm fine with the questions. You? Yeah, fine. Okay. So, if anyone has any questions, let us know. If you couldn't be a footballer, Pauline, what do you think you would have been? <laughs> oh, good question. Um, totally different topic. Have you topic. finished your studies yet? No, huh? What? Are you still studying? Yeah, huh? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still studying. I'm taking my time. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm studying economics, um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, my family actually runs a wine business, so maybe I would have been part oh, of that. <laughs> totally different uh, topic, but yeah, it's cool. It's a family Make wine business. Publicity. You have really good alcohol-free, um, what was it? Glue wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we have everything. So if anyone <laughs> needs a recommendation, Weinhandlung Bremer in Göttingen, <laughs> please order on our website. <laughs> what would maybe, you do? Maybe you, can, maybe you can be sponsor of the, of the um, Euros. Yeah, true. Yeah, we're actually selling wine in the Volkswagen Arena now in the, uh, in the men's stadium from Wolfsburg. We have like, yeah. um, we are in the VIP area. Cool. Really nice. I also have another question from you, for you. Yeah. Uh, um, apparently in summer you created your own football freestyle trick with Elfen Fußball. Do you remember when you go on your knee? And yeah. The ball drop? Yeah, they ask how the trick is called. Yeah, I remember we started a competition about it. Like I put the video up and then I was like, okay, uh, what how should i call this trick but um yeah i never really picked the name <laughs> like i don't know i think i i always say it's my trick so <laughs> <laughs> my trick the bremer <laughs> bremer yeah that's good yeah okay um any question for you who's the toughest toughest player you've ever played against um um, I don't really know. Uh, or the toughest team, maybe. Toughest team. I think America. I yeah. think we lost uh, five zero. We traveled oh. all the way to the USA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We lost five zero, but we had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right but yeah, that was that was really nice because um, the national anthem was sung by a, like a singer live, which was really nice. And then the stadium was filled. It was before oh, Corona. Nice. Uh, yeah, it was really good. It was nice. And I think their team is, yeah, they're all so quick and so strong. Hmm. Um, right. They ask how many languages we speak. How many languages do you speak? Do you speak four? Three. Three, yeah. Je parle un peu de français aussi. Et toi aussi, <laughs> je sais. <laughs> um, and you speak four languages. What? Um, I don't connection 